Hello and welcome to module 2.3 where we'll be talking about developing your customer avatar or what's known as an ideal customer profile. By the time you complete this module you will have an unfair advantage over your competitors as most business owners skip this really important piece of market research. So in this module you'll discover what is a customer avatar how a customer avatar will transform your marketing and enhance your brand message, why a customer avatar is important, and finally, how to create your customer avatar. So let's look at what a customer avatar is in more detail. A customer avatar is a lookalike profile of your ideal customer. It's not just about their demographic profile, which is what most people focus on, which is the, um, the age of the customer, their location, their occupation, their interests. Those are all demographics. Now, the difference between that and a customer avatar is that the customer avatar focuses on the more of the psychological aspect of what's going on inside the customer's mind. Okay, so that includes... Uh, their goals, their values, their anxieties, their frustrations, their habits, basically what keeps them up at night and what they aspire to and what's really important to them. And this is what's known as their psychographic profile. So let's look at some reasons why a customer avatar is important. Everyone is not your ideal customer. So that's really important to remember everyone is not your ideal customer you've got to really focus on one specific type of customer so that your message your the way your communication is laid out is actually targeting a specific group of people because as they say if you market to everyone you sell to no one so the whole point of a customer avatar is knowing who you're selling to you need to know your ideal customer on an intimate level in order to know how to sell to them, how to speak to them and how to make your brand more attractive to them. Now, a lot of business owners fail simply because there's a disconnect between what they're promising and what their customers are expecting. And another reason that they fail is because they're too broad with their targeting. So they're trying to target too broad a group of people. You've got to get really specific about who you're targeting because your messaging can only resonate with a certain amount of people. So that's why you need to be more narrow with your targeting. Now, let's look at some reasons why people fail without a customer avatar. So the first reason is that often business owners waste a lot of time developing products and services that nobody actually wants because they haven't actually done the necessary market research. They just assume that their product or service will sell and even if it's something that people actually want, the positioning, the price or the promotion method is wrong and that's where a lot of people get stuck. So in order to know where to promote the product, how to price it, how to position it, you've got to create a customer avatar and um, that will help you greatly in establishing where and how you're going to market your product or service. Another reason is that in a lot of instances, they're unknowingly turning off potential customers with their messaging. So, for example, they're not speaking in terms that the target audience find relatable or appealing. By looking at the customer avatar and asking questions, you'll be able to create your messaging based on what they have said. So you use their exact words when you're writing your copy when you're writing your content and when you're writing your um your your advertisements you've got to use words that they use so that it's uh, it's re relatable and appealing to them the third reason why a lot of people fail without a customer avatar is just they simply don't know enough about what motivates their customers to buy so that makes it really difficult to sell to them i mean it's one thing to know who you're targeting and the type of customers that would need your product or service but you it's another thing to understand what motivates them to buy and once you understand what motivates a person to buy something you can just use that and refer to that over and over again and and use that psychological trigger to increase 
your sales. So without knowing what's most important to your customer, it becomes difficult to sell the benefits of your product or service that matter to them most. So many business owners struggle because they're having a conversation about what they think their customers want versus what they actually do want. You've got to tap into the mind of your customer. With a customer avatar, you're able to pinpoint exactly what your customers want, what their frustrations and anxieties are, and more importantly, what turns them off from buying and what motivates them to buy. When you define your customer avatar, you can focus your marketing efforts targeting only the people who match the profile of your avatar, dramatically increasing the likelihood of making sales. Let's talk about psychological triggers. When you fully understand the psychological triggers that affect the buying behavior of your ideal customers, not only will you be able to sell your product or service effortlessly, but you will have the power to create an experience that feels like your product or service was tailor-made specifically for them. When you can take advantage of this information, it gives you a massively unfair advantage over your competition when it comes to building up a loyal customer base. So how do you define your customer avatar? Although your customer avatar is a fictitious character, it should represent the psychographic and demographic profile of your ideal customer. These are the people you wish to attract. Your job is to speak to your past and existing customers to really tap into their mindset so you can understand them fully and understand what motivated them to work with you and um, what they liked about your product or service most so you can really tap into that you should also try and speak to potential customers as well and research um, customers who match your profile and find out what really makes them tick so you can find out from things like online forums um, websites like Quora book reviews on Amazon where you can really tap into their likes and dislikes so there's a lot of information out there but it's it's a case of finding that information um, but you start with a customer avatar so that you can um, you can ask the right types of questions so you start by giving your customer avatar a name and start with their demographic profile first so for example um, how old they are where do they live do they have kids are they married are they single etc and then you move on to the psychographic data. Let's look at the empathy map. So to really get that good psychographic data, you need what's called an empathy map. Now, this is what's going to help you type into their psychological triggers that make them want to buy. And um, this is a tool which is designed to capture the persona of your ideal customer with emphasis on what they think what they feel, what they see, what they do, and um, it highlights their pain points and their desires. So it's a really useful tool to really get inside the head of your, pr your potential customers. So this is an example of an empathy map. So um, you have four main quadrants and then you have two at the bottom where you've got their pain points or frustrations on the left hand side and you've got desires and goals on the right hand side so all you need to do is ask qu the right questions to fill this out and then you can refer to this over and over again so if you look at the empathy map you can see what do they think and feel what matters to the user what occupies their thinking what worries and aspirations does he or she have and then you look at uh, what do they see, so what things in their environment influence and affect them, what are they see in their friends do, what do they say and do, what are their daily activities, what do they talk about most, what are their thoughts about others around them and what's going on in the world. So you get to see the world through their eyes, effectively. Um, you find out what do they hear, what do their family and friends and colleagues say that might influence them. Once you have all this info, you can really craft your marketing messages in a way that speaks to them directly. So here are some examples of customer avatars. Here's an average example. This is what most people would do. They would talk mainly about the demographic info that they have. So 
for example our ideal client is between 28 and 45 years old female lives in london with a salary between 20 and 35k per year she uses our product to learn more about social media so she can get more clients using the internet so that's an okay example but that's what most people do so if you really want to get a detailed profile of your ideal customer you'd add a, a lot more detail than that so here's an ideal example Layla is a 31 year old independent cosmetic manufacturer from London she spends about four hours a week reading marketing blogs and following posts on Instagram and that is where she discovered a link that pointed to Cakebox Creative Layla makes between 20,000 and 30,000 a year with her cosmetic business yet feels like she doesn't really have a good grasp on how she's going to take her business to the next level. You can see here that there's a lot more detail into it. There's a lot more information about the kind of media she consumes. There's a lot more data about what's really important to her in terms of uh, her anxieties about taking her business to the next level and here you can see the empathy map has been thoroughly completed uh, you can see a lot of data about what she goes through on a daily basis her desires her goals her frustrations what she sees around her that will give you a fully comprehensive map as to how to produce your content how to word your content and your your sales messaging as well so once you're armed with that information you can you can really be a lot more persuasive with your your marketing because you're actually talking to the customer in a way that they can really relate to that's why a customer avatar is extremely important and extremely helpful to review as well as discovering demographic info such as age sex household income interests and that kind of stuff the purpose of a customer avatar is to dive into the mind of your ideal customer so you can find out what their frustrations are their desires their fears their buying objections and of course what motivates them armed with this information which we refer to as psychographic data you'll have the ability to be a part of the conversation that's already going on in your customers minds and that allows you to communicate in a way that's relatable and appealing to them and you can sort of design your products and services around what your customers want you can do that a lot more accurately with a customer avatar so you get to design your products and services and offers in a way that would delight your customers a customer avatar that's detailed is a vital part of your marketing strategy and it will help you produce the most effective content copy branding and as i mentioned before product offerings because you're operating from a place of giving the marketplace what they want and not what you think they want you've actually done the research and you've actually spoken to people who are a match of your ideal customer and you found out from them directly what really makes them tick that's the difference between you know uh, creating a product or service and kind of guessing what they want or trying to predict what they want so that's really important so a customer avatar will allow you to fine-tune your messaging and convert more customers who are a good fit Finally, your customer avatar, the details on your customer avatar will allow you to match your pricing and positioning more effectively with the types of people you intend to serve. So before investing in any advertising, before rebranding or investing in anything design related, your customer avatar will serve as a perfect foundation and reference point for your branding and communication moving forward from now on. So imagine what it would feel like to have a tribe of loyal customers who resonate with your marketing message because it seems like your brand is a part of their story. Just think about that for a second. And that's the power of a detailed customer avatar. So congratulations, you've successfully completed this module. Hope you got a lot of value from that. 
uh, make sure you download the customer avatar template and the uh, empathy map template it will definitely help you with your marketing efforts moving forward so i look forward to seeing you inside the next module bye for now